Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Today, Apple announced new iPods and a new Apple TV. Let's take a look. So at today's event, Apple announced a complete revamp of the entire iPod line. Let's start with the shuffle. The last shuffle had no controls on it. All the controls were on the earbuds cord. But now Apple's moved the controls back to the shuffle itself and given it a new square shape. It's basically just big enough to hold the buttons themselves. Other than that, it's pretty much the same as the previous shuffle. So it's basically the best of the second and third generation shuffles combined to make a fourth generation shuffle. So the iPod Nano got a dramatic makeover. Forget everything about the previous Nanos. This new one combines the controls and screen into a square touch screen. And on the touch screen, we control the Nano now with little apps, just like you would a iPhone or iPod Touch. So you get basically the same functionality. You get extras like the pedometer and FM tuner, and of course all of the iPod functions, including video playback, but on this small little square screen. The one thing missing, though, is the video camera. That's not included in the new iPod. So you get a touch screen, but no camera. Now the price for the Nano remains the same. $149 for the base model, and for double the size, you pay $179. The iPod Touch is completely new as well. There's a new design, which is thinner, but doesn't look like the iPhone design. It's its own unique iPod Touch design, still with a little bit of curve to the back. And we get the cameras that everybody wanted. Get a HD camera facing forward and a front facing camera that allow you to use FaceTime. Also, we get the new A4 processor, which is in the iPhone 4, and a retina display. Price for the iPod Touch is about the same, $229 for the base model, all the way up to $400 for one with a lot of extra space. Now coming next week is a whole new version of iOS. We're at version 4.0, but 4.1 next week will bring several new features. The two big ones are HDR photos. So HDR basically takes three photos when you take one. It takes a normal photo and then it takes one with high exposure and low exposure. And then it combines these to give you details from the background that normally might get washed out if you just took a single photo. And it's going to combine those two photos to give them both to you so you can decide which one to keep later on. Now Game Center is the ability for games to communicate between players. So you can have multiplayer play, you can have high scoreboards, you can challenge other players. It's something that the developers have had for a little while so a few games can be built with these features and next week we'll finally be able to see it in iOS 4.1. So we'll get 4.1 next week for iPhones and iPod Touches. It'll be a free update through iTunes. And in November, we'll get iOS 4.2, which will be for iPhones and iPod Touches and also iPads, and finally bring a lot of the iOS 4 features like multitasking and app folders to the iPad. Apple also announced an update to iTunes. iTunes is now going to be version 10, iTunes 10, and it will have one major new feature, which is called iTunes Ping, which basically looks like a social network, a Facebook, if you will, for music. So you can connect with your friends and see what music they buy and are listening to and send messages to each other. That will be available later today. And finally, as many people expected, we have an update to Apple TV. The new Apple TV is a really tiny box. It's about a quarter the size of the current Apple TV. It has no hard drive in it. Instead, everything will just stream. So it can stream content from your Macs and PCs in the house. It can also stream content from the internet, like YouTube or radio stations. In addition, you can rent movies and TV shows, which will stream to the box. So without a hard drive, there's no purchasing of movies. It's all rentals. And in addition to that, you'll be able to rent on Netflix, a feature that a lot of people really wanted in this new Apple TV. The new Apple TV is going to be a lot cheaper. It's only going to be $99 and should be available next month. One small item that was shown was AirPlay. Now, right now we have AirTunes, which allows you to stream music from one device, say your Mac, to another device, say an Apple TV, in another part of the house. Well, AirPlay replaces AirTunes and allows you to stream photos and video. So for instance, Steve Jobs demonstrated streaming a movie playing on an iPad to the new Apple TV, which then put it up on a big screen. So that's it. All the new iPods should be available for order already and shipping pretty soon. The new Apple TV will be available next month and iTunes 10 is something you should be able to download today.
Till next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.